All right, at 7 o'clock, I'm going to call the regular meeting of the Board of Selectmen to order. First item of business is the Pledge of Allegiance. Selectman Baker, it's been a while. Would you mind? All members of the, of the board are here present. Uh, our first item of business is going to be the approval of the meeting minutes from August 4th, 2022. Um, they're in your packet. Any uh, discussion or corrections? We'll move to approve the regular meeting minutes from August 4th, 2022. Is there a second? Second. Motion has been made and seconded. Are there any corrections? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Abstentions. Uh, next item of business is public participation. This is one of two opportunities for the public to address the members of the Board of Selectmen. I'm first going to turn to anybody who's here present in the room and ask if they would like to speak. Excuse um, me, Jason. Okay. Jason, may I ask you who abstained? Uh, Marie? Nobody. Nobody. Oh, okay. I thought someone excused. Okay. Um, I lost my train of thought. So I'm going to first turn to the people who are here in the room and ask if anybody would like to address the board. If you please identify yourself with your name and address. Um, and then after the folks here present have had a chance to speak, I'll do the same thing for anybody who is with us online. Um, and then there will be another opportunity later in the meeting. Is there anybody here in the room who would like to address the board of select? Is there anyone online who would like to address the board of select? Okay, there will be another opportunity uh, towards the end of the meeting. Um, our next item of business is a communication that was submitted by uh, Mr. Manette pertaining to the police commission's recommendation for wage increases from. Uh, for the chief and the deputy. I would not typically include correspondence from a constituent on just a matter. Uh, however, the author has a history of um, some confusing math. And so I wanted to make sure that the, the finance director had that opportunity to provide her opinion on the accuracy and, and the validity of his submission. So that's why that's included. Um, resignations and appointments. We have one new appointment. Um, the motion was made, or an uh, uh, application has been submitted by Catherine Nealon for a seat on the Water Pollution Control Authority for a regular member for a term expiring October 1st, 2026. Um, I will tell you, I've had uh, conversations with the superintendent of WPCA who has expressed concerns about this appointment um, due to her previous work experience with them. Um, but it's it's an application that was submitted. There's references for the board, so whatever you find. Mm -hmm. Would anyone like to make a motion? Seeing none, uh, we will move on. Um, next, uh, Amy, I think I'm all set. Thank you. Thank you very much. For any of you. Um, next, we'll turn to 9A, discussion and award of the town sidewalk bid. Um, the director of public works is here, so is the deputy director. Um, Len, this is a project that we've gone out to bid with a couple of times, and hey. uh, I think everybody is eager to see us move forward with it. Where are we? Yes, sir. We're there. Okay. okay, we did. We had to put it out three times. The third time was the charm. We actually got uh, four bidders. You have a package in front of you. Um, when the bids came in, I have to be honest, I was a little concerned with the low bidder because he was a fair amount low. Uh, but he got really, really good references from contractors and towns. So I'm here to say we want to take the low bidder and run with them. I guess you all need to approve that. Yeah. Which one is that? Four Seasons? No, the low bidder is Murillo. Questions or comments on the bids? 
Why is he so much lower than everybody else? Well, if you look, he's 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 low with the the concrete prices, but if you look at some of the other prices, he's a little high. But we're not anticipating needing a lot of those other, you know, like the process. We're hoping to use a lot of what's there and what have you. So um, there's two about two thousand feet of sidewalk. So with the concrete price being substantially less, that's and and he did get very good references from yeah, contractors and towns. So it's like, wow, we got lucky. So I would make a motion that we accept the. Murillo Construction Incorporated out of Harper, Connecticut, um, to provide services for the sidewalk replacements. Second. Motion has been made and seconded. Any further discussion on the motion? What are we, what are you looking to get done? I mean, it's sidewalks, but it's warehouse point. <laughs> it's, it's a warehouse point. It's on Main Street. So we're, we're going to put in the blacktop section. Yes. And, and then we're going to all or? We're, uh huh. Is it, will it extend at all? Or? We're going to go all the way down to Spring. There's a, uh, if you go down to Spring Village, there's actually an existing crosswalk yep. there that the state, we're going to go to there. Okay. Oh. Joe, did you have something you wanted to add? The motion includes the uh, allowing you to sign the contract. Yes, thank you. It should. And we'll amend your motion to authorize for production to sign the contract accordingly. I'll amend my second. Any further discussion on the amended motion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? So carried. Uh, whatever I need to sign to motion done. Well, I don't have a contract yet because I need to get this first. So okay. we will have one. Thank you. Yep. Um, I'm going to ask that we postpone discussion of agenda item 9B. Um, can I have a motion to postpone until our next meeting? So moved. Second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Um, and then I'd like to take some things out of order if we could. Um, I'd like to table um, agenda items 9C and D. Um, those are executive session matters. I'll move to table agenda items 9C and 9D. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Now we'll go on to tax refunds. We'll move to approve the tax refunds totaling six thousand four hundred eighty-nine dollars and eighty-one cents. Made and seconded. Discussion. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed. Okay. So now we're on to selecting districts. Charlie County. We're not done. <laughs> we're not. We're not the car. <laughs> Okay, um, mine's, mine's going to be a brief report. Um, so this evening in town, uh, during the town's weekly summer concert, we launched our Buy Local Passport program, which is intended to support small retail and restaurants in the community. We're very excited to have 20 participating businesses. The program will run from today through Small Business Saturday, and for each purchase made at a participating business, people will receive a stamp to place in their passports. Anyone returning passports with more than 30, 33 stamps will be eligible for cash prize drawings out of my office. Passports will be available at any participating business and must be returned to my office by December 5th. Uh, speaking of the summer concerts, next week is going to be our last one, and that will be the final one. That'll be the final one for the season. It'll be sponsored by the East Windsor Rotary Club, and they plan to announce their citizen of the year at that meeting. Um, the Greater Together Community Fund is now soliciting applications for their second round of community grants. Applications are due back by September 15th. Um, this is a partnership between the Town of East Windsor and the Hartford Foundation for Public Giving, and it will provide up to $40,000 in grant awards to benefit organizations in our community with a maximum award of $10,000 per receiving organization. Eligible applicants must uh, benefit town residents. The Town's Community Services Department is still looking to put one last call out for any East Windsor student who may be in need of a backpack for the school year. The department is putting together a backpack loaded with great appropriate school supplies to qualify East Windsor families. Students must be East Windsor residents and have children registered in our school system. Certain income guidelines apply and more information can be found on our website. Um, that is all I have for tonight. So, Marie, what do you have? Um, I just want to apologize um, for not being here the last two meetings, um, but I have been out of state for numerous reasons. Um, 
I got back Monday this week and I um attended the housing authority meeting last night and prior to that I attended the police commission meeting. Um, but because I've had meetings every day since I got back, I haven't been able to document anything, so I'll report it at the next meeting. Uh, thank you. Charlie. Uh, the only other thing I have was the board of finance meeting, which occurred last night. Um, the tax collector reported that we are 48% collected, and you gave your great presentation again on all the um, projects you'd like to see funded through our um, uh, fund balance over. So, and you expect the town meeting on that to be on September 1st. Yeah. That's it. That's all I have. Thank you, sir. Al. Oh. Um, so I had a number of things at planning and zoning. They uh, had some text amendments that they approved that were interesting. One was for alternate energy stuff, you know, like PV uh, canopies and EV charging stations. Uh, they also approved a text amendment for tiny houses on wheels, which I thought was interesting. Um, and they're working through it. And I think they may have approved I believe early. Somebody in my family bought their keys in the car. But they were working on when I left a, a small subdivision on Scanic Road that had also been through. I think I reported on that for wetlands. So um, but that was about it for that. And that's the only meeting I had. All right, sir. Okay. Um, the Arts and Culture Committee canceled their August meeting. So they don't meet again until next month. I attended the Veterans Commission meeting on August 11th. The 22nd annual East Windsor Veterans 5K Road Race will take place on November 5th this year. Sponsor forms are beginning to circulate to area businesses by commission members. This year's shirt color will be cherry red. Entry fees will remain the same as last year, $10 for children up to age 17 and $15 for 18 and older if paid before race day. The price will go up to $18 on the day of the race. Bob Like, our town's municipal veterans representative, discussed attending a meeting with Congressman Joe Courtney. The benefits that will be coming to veterans through the recently passed PACT Act and a project that he is working on with Dr. Anwar related to PTSD. The commission will be hosting another paver drive for the Joe Tracy Veterans Memorial Green Walkway. Each paver will be $50 and the target completion day is Memorial Day of 2023. Forms will be available soon. Um, 24 pavers were sold in last year's drive. Um, Jason already mentioned the backpack drive, um, and I just wanted to comment on the um, passport program. I think that's really a great addition to town, um, having worked in the winery business previously. That's, um, that's exactly yeah, the model. It, um, it's really a great opportunity to get people into new places, and I think it will be great for our businesses. So that's all I have. Thank you. Uh, public participation. This is the public second opportunity to address members of the board. Uh, I'll first again turn to anybody here present who would like to address the selectmen, um, and then I'll ask anybody online. Uh, is there anybody here present who would like to address the board? Please your, your name and your address. Yes, sir. Paul Anderson, 89 Main Street, Broadbrook, Chairman of WPCA. I have to express my disappointment in the lack of the uh, motion for Catherine Nealon's appointment. I was assured by Mr. Enderly that he has no issue. And you heard something different. I find that to be a concern. I've known her for many, many years. And she's a professional. She's in the industry. And she would have been a valuable asset. So uh, that means we won't be having any meetings for a while. You Possibly for the rest of the year. You down one? And down one. Because of circumstances, uh, I have someone who cannot attend until January. <clears throat> so that being the case, that's what we have. I just want to express my disappointment, and that's the way it goes. Okay. Yes, sir. David, address, please. Ed Philippon, 22 Stanick Road. Um, actually, I, my mistake, I came here thinking there was going to be discussion on the uh, contract that the police commission ratified. Uh, I see it's not. Uh, but I was wondering, it says, Held pending additional requ uh, requested information. I was wondering what that was. 
So at the meeting two weeks ago, um, there was a request for additional information that was uh, made by a member of my board to a member of yours um, that there was information provided to us at uh, well past the publication of the agenda. So we'll take it in and, and, uh, and lean on the agenda for discussion at our next meeting. I don't know. I have not. It was handed to me at 639. So I don't know. <laughs> yes, sir. Monthly Queens Court. Just a curious question. Yes. <laughs> this is very, very local, honey. Selectman Baker is, is a, uh, I guess, an amateur eight year? Sure. Beekeeper. <laughs> okay. Just curious. It, it is for sale. I believe it's Robert Gardens. <laughs> <laughs> I got three of you. <laughs> anybody else here present would like to address the board? Is there anybody online who would like to address the board of selectmen? Please state your name and your address. Okay. Um, we will go into an executive session. It'll include just the five of us. Um, could I have a motion to go into an executive session, please? So moved. Second. Is there a second? Uh, it's made and seconded. All in favor? Uh, Aye. Aye. Uh, we are in executive session 716. We'll let you keep the room if you want to stay. We're going to go down the hall. Peg, there will be votes afterwards. I'll say that uh, Attorney Deneen comes highly recommended by Attorney Hawks Labs. Uh, we're making this appointment on advice of counsel. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. You're opposed? No. I already did my protest. Okay. Yeah, no. Aye. All members are in favor. Um, agenda item 9D discuss and ratify the amendment to the Melissa Lobel appointment contract. Selectman Nordell. I'll move to. Um, Authorize the first selectman to sign the um, amended contract between the town of East Windsor and Melissa LaBelle. Is there a second? Second. Motion has been made and seconded. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Seeing no further business to come before the Board of Selectmen, a motion to adjourn would be in order. Can I have a motion? I move we adjourn the regular meeting of the Board of Selectmen at 746. Is there a second? second? Motion made by Charlie, seconded by Sarah. It's not debatable. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? We are adjourned at 746.